Hi, Dr. Josh Axe here, doctor of natural medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. Hey, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to shop healthy on a budget. And if you're a person out there, and hey, maybe you have a limited budget, but you want to eat healthy, you wanna transform your health, I'm gonna give you the biggest tips to do that. By the way, everything I'm gonna share with you will also taste amazing. All right, let's get started. Number one tip is shop in bulk. Okay, so for my family and for I know some others, you know, growing up, one of the things we did is we went to shop at Costco. You know, it's a great thing to do, or we buy bulk herbs and superfoods online, or go to our local farmer and buy in bulk. We put it in a freezer at home. That's one of the biggest ways you can save money. So I remember we did this. I did this when I was in college and had no money. I went in with some friends and we actually bought part of a cow and we got all of these different cuts of meat and hamburger meat and we bought in bulk and we froze it and we actually got grass fed beef that way. You know, another example of this too is, you know, going to a place like Costco or a place where you can buy in bulk, I got wild king salmon, the same salmon you would pay around $30 plus for a single meal at a fancy restaurant, you can get that same salmon in a can for less than $3 for wild Alaskan king salmon or sockeye salmon. And growing up, one of the things my family always did and I still do today is I'll make salmon patties. I'll get some healthy crackers, I'll get some salmon, some eggs, and just sort of fry that up and you can do salmon patties at home. So there's an example, but here's the big tip. Number one, to save money and shop on a budget, shop healthy on a budget, is to shop in bulk. You can buy bulk herbs online, Italian seasoning, Sea salt and Himalayan salt, really, really big value size bundles. That is probably one of the biggest ways you can save money. Number two is know your budget and plan ahead. Now I've had people say before, I can't really afford to eat healthy, but then I'll see them spending four to five dollars on their morning coffee and seven plus dollars eating out at a fast food restaurant. Here's the big thing to know is how many dollars do you have per month knowing your budget and using that on food costs? And I guarantee if I saw, hey, here's how much you have laid out, I could help you shop and eat healthy, doing it the right way. Again, buying in bulk and again, planning and budgeting ahead. And along with that, this will slide right in is step number three is buy foods oftentimes organic that are frozen. Okay, now frozen foods are oftentimes nutrient dense and in some cases with things like fruit can be more nutrient dense frozen than it is when it's fresh. Here, let me give you an example of this. A lot of our fruit today is shipped in from places like Mexico and South America or China. And a lot of times they're harvested weeks early, they're sprayed, and so they're not, they don't grow to full nutrient density where if oftentimes things are frozen, they actually are waited till their peak ripeness, frozen. And have you ever noticed that when you eat frozen fruit, sometimes it's actually even sweeter than the fresh fruit or it seems it's a more flavorful? Sometimes that's because that's been allowed to fully ripen where the other fruit and foods haven't. So listen, consuming frozen fruits and vegetables along with fresh, but getting some frozen is absolutely okay and great. So getting frozen vegetables, especially in your diet and berries, totally great and a great way to save money. Number four tip is eat seasonally. Go to your local farmer's market. Go to roadside stands. Not only are you shop, you're supporting local farmers, you're typically getting healthier food than you get in the supermarket and you're saving money. So again, buying seasonally is another great way to eat healthy on a budget. And last but not least, step number five, make a shopping list and don't shop while you're hungry. Now I've seen this before where, uh, and again, listen, I've been in the situation where, man, I'm so hungry and you go past the cookie aisle, you go, you're in the middle of the, you know, in the, in, in the market and you see, again, you, you see the snacks, right? And most of these snacks and packaged foods have 50 ingredients, they've got high fructose corn syrup, they've got genetically modified ingredients, they've got gluten, they've got all this junk in it and that's what we put in our shopping cart. So make a shopping list ahead of time. Know what you're getting before you go in and do not shop hungry. And listen, if you can follow these tips, I guarantee you're gonna be able to save money and you're also gonna be able to get more for your money and you're gonna be able to eat healthier and better. Listen, I'd encourage you, stop making excuses. Now listen, I know everybody can be in a tough financial situation. But I'll tell you again, going back, I'm just sharing you tips that I followed when I was in college and had absolutely almost no money, no budget. I shopped in bulk. I went to places like Costco. I knew what my budget was and I shopped ahead. And listen, even if it doesn't, even if your diet can't get 100% better, maybe it can get 
20 to 30% better or 50% better, at least you can see some improvement in eating a little bit healthier by following these tips. Again, as I talked about, shopping in bulk is big. Planning ahead is really, really big. Eating seasonally and buying frozen and not shopping hungry. Doing all those things can help you save money and help you eat healthy on a budget. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to eat healthy on a budget.